So those are a couple different ways to attach your DSLR or CMOS camera directly to the telescope for prime focus astrophotography, great for deep sky work. But what about higher power applications, especially if you want to photograph the planets? Well, astrophotographers used to photograph through an eyepiece uh, placed between the camera and the telescope, and that method was called eyepiece projection. But that method is not really so common anymore, and I generally wouldn't recommend it unless you have a particular purpose for it. Uh, I mention that because you will find a lot of adapters in the market still, like tele-extenders and different camera adapters that accommodate the use of an eyepiece. And it used to be uh, one of the more common ways to get more magnification and focal length out of your telescope with your camera. Now, should you choose to go that route, you still can. And uh, usually it'll be limited to something like a plossal style eyepiece or very basic type of eyepiece that can fit in the camera adapter. Uh, one example would be the Mead Universal camera adapter. There's also a variable version. Uh, an eyepiece can be placed in the camera adapter. Uh, it has an inch and a quarter nose piece that fits to any telescope that would accept inch and a quarter accessories. The nose piece itself is also removable. So that's an added convenience or versatility. The nose piece has T-threads, which can in fact thread directly to the T-mount of your DSLR camera or go on the camera body of most different CMOS cameras, including our DSi-4. Uh, keep in mind though, if you are limiting yourself to inch and a quarter, depending on your camera, especially a DSLR, you will probably introduce some vignetting because the, uh, the diameter is not going to support the full potential um, image circle of the telescope and, and camera, but something to keep in mind. But what I generally would recommend, and this is uh, much more common for planetary imaging, is with modern imaging cameras, especially if you're looking at something like the LPIG or the LPIG advanced cameras and specialized planetary cameras, the image scale that you get from these cameras for planetary imaging is, is pretty tremendous. They use small pixels, but what that means is your equivalent magnification is pretty high through most different telescopes. Uh, this six inch F10 ACF can give you a pretty good image scale when imaging uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Mars. Planets are, their apparent diameter is, is quite small. So you do wanna get as much image scale as you can, as much as your optics and your local seeing conditions will permit. So one of the common ways that we will boost the focal length now for planetary imaging is we'll just simply introduce a Barlow lens. It can double or even triple the focal length of the telescope. Um, but to start with, you can simply go directly to the inch and a quarter back on your telescope. In this example, the ACF, I'm just using the inch and a quarter visual back, which is also fairly universal for different schmidt cassegrain type of telescopes. And I can place something like the LPIG advanced camera directly to the inch and a quarter back. So this method is actually uh, much more simple than it is for some of those direct threaded connections I showed you for prime focus astrophotography. Uh, this, you can almost treat it like it was an eyepiece or a star diagonal. Planetary camera directly to the telescope and you've got yourself a pretty good image scale. Alternatively, you can add a Barlow lens between the visual back and the camera, and now you've got a very good image scale for photographing the planets. Planetary imaging doesn't require as large of an imaging sensor in the camera because the apparent size of the objects that we're trying to photograph are, are very small. So something even like our LPIG Advanced, it's an ample sized imaging chip but it doesn't need to be as big as that of the chip in our DSi-4 or your favorite DSLR. And by the way, the DSi-4 and your DSLR absolutely can photograph the moon and planets and will do a good job at it as well. But these specialized cameras, you'll find that their sensors aren't very big because they don't need to be. The other advantage to that is, like in this case, they fit inch and a quarter accessories without any problem. So in many ways, the method and how you would attach your planetary camera is much more simplified and a lot easier in general. Now, with any type of photography, now, of course, once you've attached your camera to the telescope, you'll then need to focus your image and your adventures for astro imaging will begin at that point.